right now. Doritos, Mountain Dew, Xbox One X. So, good morning. It's day one of New York Comic Con. I'm here with the John drop, McHale. Everybody. The drop. We're here to talk about crushing Doritos up, snorting them, and drinking uh, Mountain Fuel, and then running around to catch an Xbox like a wild Pokemon. We would love to pan over to the enormous phone showing the Doritos Mountain Dew drop zone, but we don't have that technology. I am a one man idiot. And unfortunately, I'll, I don't have a camera break. Right yeah, it's, but it's, it's huge. It's and massive. Th that was not cheap. Uh, you probably want to know what the drop zone is. No, I was going to ask you about Community and X-Files. Oh, I mean, right. I mean, if you want to talk well, about it, you know. I feel like there's some pretty pronounced it's fine. Uh, branding it's fine. going can, on. You can eat oh, that. Thank I'll you. eat these, and we'll talk about Terrific. Community. So, uh, my first question was, how is X-Files? And uh, oh, X -Files are you coming really back for next season? No, I'm not. Uh, Why? <laughs> not that I haven't been... But the season after that, the season after uh, that, I don't know. Uh, no, I was. I am not. I will not be back back in the next season. Because no one's ever really gone. I just wanted to. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, I'm sure Chris Carter has big plans for my character spinoff on FXX. There'll be a comic series in no time. Yeah, your that own, was your own but, one shot. But just being on there was like the, one of the greatest. I was like, I would do this for free. I would pay to be on it. So Amazing. it was as fun as I could ever hope for. Chris Carter, everyone. Was great. I couldn't, couldn't believe I was there. If you had to go back on any of the shows that you've worked on and if they did like a reboot or like another season or if they did another one, what's, what show would you like to go back to? What character would you like to revisit? Diagnosis Murder. Nice. Definitely. Um, you know, solving even more murders. Love it. No, uh, I, I, I want to do, I mean, obviously there was talk of a uh, community movie. I would do that. Yeah. That would be, that would be alright. And the Great Indoors movie. I'm sure a lot of people are demanding that right now. Uh, but no, I, I would love to. I would love to do that. So you're in New York. Yes, you are too. I am as well. Are you doing any stand-up while you're here, or are you just yes? You tomorrow, uh, uh, Saturday night and Sunday night uh, at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick. What is the most awkward moment you've ever had while doing stand-up? The most awkward moment. Jeez. Well, uh, I bombed in front of 8,000 people years ago. That, oh, that really? Was, that, was, uh, that was for um, Power 106 in Los Angeles where I got on stage and they were already booing me. And, nice. I, and they said, you have to go 20 minutes. And I just turned the clock around and I said, we're here together, folks. And I'm not leaving. And uh, so that was pretty awkward. Uh, but it's really, it was, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't demasculating at all. <laughs> You don't seem to have PTSD flashbacks in the slightest. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, great. So, when you're playing video games, yes. what's your favorite kind of genre to play? Are I, you a Call of Duty kind of guy? No, I'm a first person shooter. I think, like, Battlefield 1 has, uh, I mean, I, that, I mean, Titanfall, I played until the game broke uh, in my console, but, uh, but Battlefield 1 is, is a game that uh, my friends and I are playing uh, now. And uh, I, boy, we can, I, I like Scario, uh, but uh, but Battlefield One really, that world is pretty great. Do you like it? I'm a huge fan of Battlefield One. I'm, but but I'm I'm a Star Wars Battlefront kind of guy. If we're going into the EA genre, and when is the new one coming out? Sometime at the end of the year. I my kids, there's, a, there's a movie coming out. There's a game guys, coming out. My kids action are toys. My my 12 year and nine year old is like, can we play that? And my wife's like, I don't want them playing first person shooters. And I was like, but it's Battlefield. I mean, it's Battlefront. It'll be fine. Can't you put him in one of the fighter and do a, do a, do one of the fighter squadron missions? Do yes, that. absolutely. He's then not in a first-person shoot. He's a pilot. I'm a great parent. You are training him a life skill that he can use to get a full career out. Yes. No. Exactly. This is what is exactly how I wish I had been raised. What's your favorite game right now? Uh, right now, I'm pretty hooked on Destiny 2. Yeah. And I'm also very ready for Wolfenstein to come out so I can kick some Nazis in the face. I agree. I, very I still like uh, going back to the old Gears of War. Nice, nice And touch. of course, uh, I'm a Halo man. The, the last one was Halo Wars? Probably. Yes. Uh, and then Bungie moved into Destiny, yeah. which is just Halo. Sorry, I, I, it's really difficult because this is like sticking to my hand. It's very what bizarre. is sticking to your hand? The dust. I foolishly thought this would make a great breakfast snack. That and, is um, what Doritos does. You eat one and then it sticks to your hands and you have to grab another. If you only had to eat any like one flavor of Doritos for all eternity, what flavor would you eat? Nacho cheese. Is that because you can make awful jokes about it? 
Is that racist, that joke? I'm not sure. It sounds, you know... Like I you... think you just made it racist. Did I? Uh, I cool, also like the cool ranches would be cool ranch would be fine too. I also like this blood red couch. I'm a huge fan of the like. Is your blood this bright? Probably. I think blood's darker. You sure? Positive. Let's find out now. Um, well, thank you very much for talking to me. I appreciate uh, it. But get excited for drop zone, my friend. I'm very. They're excited. giving away thousands of uh, Xbox One Xs. All you do is joking. It's like a giant game of tag, right? It's you, well, you're it's basically running. Flag. Yeah. You're basically running around. One of you will have an Xbox in your virtual hand, yeah, and then other people will run and tackle you virtually, not yeah, physically. Well, you can, you, but you're given like power-ups to stop that, and then yeah. you get your free Xbox. November Joe 10th, Mc folks. Joe McHale says you get a free Xbox. You can quote him on that. Xbox quote One on X. That. I can quote that. Everyone who's reading the Daily Mail gets a free Xbox quoted, One X. Quote it. Quote it. Yes. He's saying, no, nah, he's saying the words. No. So I never actually said them, but he but said Joe, them. But Joe did. And he said them with his Cockney accent. He's going to be an Oliver later on uh, on the West End. I'm his warm-up pack for like tomorrow. I just come out and sing a bit of Bill Sykes from Oliver yeah. and then I run off again. It's great. Nobody mentions my name. See, every British person has to know Oliver. It's a Backwards gift. Backwards and forwards. And the sound of music. Uh, all right, well, uh, thank you. So much. Thank you. Enjoy. Uh, this will, uh, who's next? Who, who are you interviewing next? Um, I'm supposed to go to an image cut. Seriously, though. Just wipe it on my jeans. Can I draw a face? Yeah. You can tell that you're a dad because you've got past that point of just giving a shit about outfits anymore, which I like. I don't give a shit about outfits or. In terms my of them kids. Dirt being dirty, not your actual, like. Horrible. Your, your appearance. No, uh, yes. You know? we, uh, my kids, when we wrestle, they chip my teeth now, so it's. It's, uh, I have to be careful. They're Adorable. Much, they're much larger now. 